This presentation is brought to you by Iowa State University's Mechanical Engineering Department. This is our machine design project for ME325 Spring of 08, taught by Gloria Starnes. Group members include Jared Nowak, Josh Warner, Jeff Bozier, who are currently juniors in mechanical engineering, and also Alex Patino, Rodell Rivera, and Eric Murphy, who are currently seniors in mechanical engineering. Our plaster saw constraints include a 10,000 RPM input shaft, uh, step down 5 to 1 gear ratio, the gear center distance cannot exceed 3 inches, and a gear housing must be sufficiently small for a handheld grip. Customer requirements. Designed for 100 hours of operation. Designed for material reliability of 99.99%. .99 Designed for 99.99% total reliability on bearings. Uh, use, use high precision lifetime factor for bending and pitting on gears. Uh, the gears and bearings need to be protected from plaster dust. And here's Alex to describe our drivetrain design. This is our drivetrain design for the plaster cast saw. Since high precision gears were used, we chose an application factor of one. Two deep groove ball bearings with a bore diameter of 0.28 inches and an outside diameter of 0.75 inches with a C10 value of 2.34 kilonewtons were used on the pinion shaft. One deep groove ball bearing with a bore diameter of 0.394 inches and an outside diameter of 0.866 inches with a C10 value of 2.08 kilonewtons was used on the gear shaft. An angular contact bearing with a bore diameter of 0.394 inches and an outside diameter of 1.18 inches with a C10 value of 7.02 kilonewtons was also used on the gear shaft. All exposed bearings will be sealed from dust. The angular contact bearing was chosen to handle a thrust load that will act on the output shaft. Reliability on the bearings is to be 99.99%. The shafts are to be made out of 1020 steel. This material was chosen because of its availability, price, and its ability to be machined. The bearing factors were chosen due to the fact of the shafts diameters, the reliability of 99.99%, its combined loading, the machining process, and the ordinary temperatures of the environment. From our first iteration, we calculated a 0.14 inch diameter shaft, but due to the constraints of the gears and the bearings, we went with a larger shaft. Both shafts have lengths of 2.102 inches. The gear shaft has a maximum diameter of 0.5 inches and a minimum diameter of 0.39 inches. The pinion shaft has a maximum diameter of 0.38 inches and a minimum diameter of 0.28 inches. Shafts have a lifetime of 100 hours of use and reliability of 99.99%. Both shafts experience stress concentrations at their bearings where the diameter of the shafts change and at the locations to which the gear and the pinion have been pressed fit. The gear shaft's critical section lies at the gear, which is located 0.38 inches from the thrust bearing. This section also has a factor of safety of 55 against fatigue. The pinion shaft critical section lies 0.38 five inches from the bearing closest to the motor, which is at the pinion, pinion. This section has a factor of safety of 39 against fatigue. Deflection at the gear is 3.2 times 10 to the negative six inches, well below the .003 inches that it needs to be under. The slope of the gear also has a 1.2 times 10 to the negative six radians. This is also well under the 5 times 10 to the 4 
rating is required for an uncrowned spur gear. The slopes of the gear shafts are 5.3 times 10 to the negative 6 and 6.1 times 10 to the negative 6 radians. The required slope must be less than 0 .001 radians. The deflection at the pinion is 0.78 times 10 to the negative 5 inches, which is less than the required of 0 .005 inches. The slope is 3.12 times 10 to the negative 6 radians. The deflection of the bearings on the pinion shaft are 1.7 times 10 to the negative 5th and 1.9 times 10 to the negative 5th radians. The shaft will be assembled first with the press fitting of the gear and pinion. The press fitting of the bearings will follow. For the gear design, we chose spur gears for the simplicity and feasibility of the gear with for the simplicity and feasibility with a gear ratio of 5 to 1. The power requirement for the gear is 0.14 horsepower. The gear will be made out of grade 1 hardened steel. The pinion is placed on the input shaft rotating at 10,000 RPMs and a torque of 0 0.078 foot-pounds. It is designed for 6 million cycles with a bore size of 0.375 inches. The gear is placed on the output shaft rotating at 2,000 RPM and a torque of 0.39 foot-pounds. The gears are to be pressed fit onto the shaft. The housing is made of steel with an overall diameter of 6.2 inches and a total wall thickness of 0.5 inch. There is a 0.313 clearance for both housing walls the walls was designed with the lip to prevent any debris from entering from the sides. The lip provided a clearance for point for a point one six inch long machine screw with a thread size of point zero two eight to be fastened to the side of the housing. The housing walls were designed to hold the outer ring of the bearing while the inner ring is turned. This concludes our design for the drivetrain for the plaster cast saw.